Okay, this is the last section that we got to work on to get the boat fully winterized. This here is that uh, gear lube pump. What I do is I typically just hang it over the, the prop like that just to let it drain out. You know, give it a little squirt here and there. Don't do it like I do and do it on the dirt and screw up the environment. That wasn't too smart. Yeah, I'll do it the right way. Put that in there. We'll do it the right way. Okay, so with that said, now all I gotta do is just replace my uh, sacrificial anode, my zincs. On this uh, Alpha Outdrive, they're pretty easy to do. Um, everything except for really one part, which I'm gonna show you in detail. The rest are very straightforward. Um, these are the pieces that I'm gonna show you how to do. These go like so on the uh, the drive that'll trim it up and down. Those were a little tricky, so I'll pass on my little tidbit of information on how to do those. The rest I'm, I can pretty much illustrate very easily to you. This guy here, this here is the gimbal housing anode. This big sucker. This one here. That one goes right up underneath there, that nasty cruddy thing right above the drain plug self-explanatory two screws take it off sand it down put her back on that's all there is to this one no big, that thing's no big deal that'll take you like 10 to 10 seconds and you got this one here is the anodonic anodonic plate I think I'm saying it right that one goes right there I'm gonna try to ah, this is impossible with this camera but it's right there, that round piece, right there around that corner. That's where that goes. Two, two screws. Take them off, clean it, put it on, easy. Next one we got is this round guy. This is the trim it, trim tab anode. Where this one goes is right underneath the back, right there. I don't know if you can see it. This is so crusty, but it's that circle right there right on the very back and you got one more here this here is the bearing carrier anode this one here you just gotta take a piece of wood I usually stick it underneath here or use my hand and wedge it up in between here and here and I just grab a big socket take that out two screws replace it reassemble it very easy straightforward um, but getting to these, I'm going to show you how I do it. Okay. This trip mechanism, there's two anodes here and here. Just take one of these, it's a cotter pin extractor. Pull that off gently. You should find a washer there. Do the same on the other side. I think I already did that one. Yes, I did. Okay. So then what I do, just take a big screwdriver or whatever. I use my fist because I'm just so manly. I'm hurting myself with that pain. Get that sucker out of there. Dead worm in there. Look at that. It's gross. So once you got those done, these should be nice and free. What you gotta do is just take out those two screws. If you won't have anything in your way. Take off that old gross looking zinc, replace it. Just do the same thing in reverse. Grab your pen, pop it through, hit it in. Put on your washers, put on your clips, done. My, my drive is missing those rubber caps. That's all they are is cosmetic. They don't really do much and usually fall off if your boat's any older than a few years like mine is. And that's really all there is to it. The rest is, rest is very straightforward, very easy. This here is a picture of the kit of what I purchased. Again, this is for my 05 Bayliner, Alpha 1 Gen 2. Outdrive. This brand seems to hold up rather well. The kit's only around 30 bucks. They are aluminum anodes and it comes with everything you need. It's 
screws, hardware, all the pieces you're going to need to do this job. Let's go pick, your up, pick yourself up one of these kits, and get to work, and that's it. My boat is going to be winterizing in the next 15 minutes. I'm gonna go do something fun. Stop this working. About my relationships. I tried not to. I want to keep it personal. I didn't even know Jay Z and Beyonce were dating until she got pregnant. When did you first tell your girlfriend you love her? Because Colin would withhold. Yes, that I'm Irish. I'm very shut down. But you seem like a guy that does love people. Because he's French, Arquette. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Right. From the, uh, from the Charlie Weaver uh, family. Yeah. I just wanted to share one more thing with you that I realized before I cut off that other end of the video. When you're putting on these anodes, typically these are going to be in this location, which you can clearly see is totally blocking those two screws. These dudes pivot. I figured it'd be important for me to sh share that with you guys so that way you don't sit there and say, hey, what is this guy talking about? You don't have to suffer. Just turn those like so.